Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be playing in some new Huda Beauty makeup and body drip. <laughs> I'm going to switch it up today. Usually I go in, I show you guys the products, give you guys the description and all of that, and then get into the demo, but I'm just going to jump straight in. I got this out of my mailbox hmm, like two days ago. And I have been so good, I have not even opened up, well, I just opened up the box. So I haven't tried, swatched any of this. And so I'm just gonna go straight into it. I know there's a body drip in here. Let's see. Yes, this is the Huda Beauty Nymph Body Drip. And it's called Bronze Utopia. From what I understand, this is the first collaboration with Huda Beauty and their Hmm. Kayali? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a brand under Huda Beauty, and this is a collaboration between the two brands. <laughs> and it's a shimmering dry oil. Usually I don't get these, but there's only been, I don't know, like one or two that I've liked, and this one just, I don't know, I felt like playing with it. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to take off, at least, yeah, I'm gonna take off my rings. I thought this would be a good one to play with because of the color of it. It's darker and I am a little bit darker now. And oh, this is so pretty. I love the size of the bottle too. Usually they're in like a longer one. This is really pretty. A lot of the times body glow highlighters, if they have even like a smidgen of that like silvery tint, it makes my tattoos look strange. So I don't usually get body products. But I thought, you know, this one is an oil. There are other ones on the market like uh, Patrick Ta and whatnot, but this is the first time I just kind of felt like I wanted to play with it. It's $49 and it claims to be non-greasy, fast absorbing formula infused with jojoba oil, avocado oil, and vitamin E. Barely there feel, easy glide texture, suitable for body and hair. I'm not gonna put it in my hair today because I think I have enough product, <laughs> but that's interesting. It is dermatologist tested and the shade is described as a sheer warm bronze with ultra fine gold and copper pearl, suitable for all skin tones. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna make sure and shake it up. Okay, let's, let's, let's do, <laughs> let's not get naked on the <laughs> online. I'm gonna spray. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, you guys can definitely see that. I wanna see, I'm gonna put it on one side and then see if you can see a difference. It feels really good. I'm just gonna go underneath. It feels really, really nice. And it has glow, but I don't see like, it's not super sparkly, which I actually appreciate. I'm gonna put some in my hand. Oh, it looks so funny. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on my arm smells good got my hand yeah it doesn't feel it feels hydrated in an oil kind of like a dry oil my skin feels really really soft now can you guys see the difference Let's see i feel like i i think this side looks slightly slightly more bronze but it feels amazing and no effect no bad effect on my tattoos they just look really nice and hydrated and my palms can you see it can you see it on there <laughs> all right let's do this side it looks like a tanning oil when you first put it on oh it feels really good like really really good and I do not have lotion or anything else on because I knew. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to be putting this on. I cannot have lotion on. The scent isn't overwhelming too. Like sometimes this kind of thing can be just like in your face. It's a nice scent. And it doesn't feel greasy at all. It feels really nice. It's soaking into the skin very, very nicely. Oh, I like the way it feels. You know, sometimes this type of product can be a little too oily and then oh, you get in your car and you leave marks all over your steering wheel and on the seats. I believe my hands would definitely leave marks right now, but I'm thinking it would end up sinking in because it's doing that really nice. 
Okay, I can barely, barely, barely see the shimmer. Barely. I mean, you gotta be up close. It's not a glitter bomb. I like it. I feel like I look really hydrated. Whoop, dropping stuff. So far, so good with this. I will let you guys know at the end of the video how it feels, if it's sunk in some more. Then I have two more products and these are for the face. I have the Nymph Glaze. I just found out that this is not your mother's pantyhose. <laughs> I did not know that that's what it stood for. And this is in the shade Luna. Let's swatch this. I have this like matte look going on right now. <laughs> it feels a little strange, like where is my highlight? But I'm also not mad at it either. Similar packaging to the Glowish Bronzer. Ooh, that swirl. I don't want to mess up the swirl. That is just like, oh, that's pretty. Okay. Ah, oh, that's so satisfying. That texture is be, ooh, let's look. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, I wonder, I think that's going to be perfect. I kind of went in between getting this shade or the second darkest but I landed on this one. All right, let's look at its claims. It's $35, comes in three different shades. Again, the one that I got is in the shade Luna. It's a multifunctional radiance booster. It has easy application, blurs the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. You can wear this under your makeup or over. It has a super blendable and silky formula, and it's a lit from within finish. For me, this is not something that I would put just all over my face. I'm combo. I'm going to show you what it would look like on top of my hand, just like sheared out. So it definitely has a really pretty finish. It's just not something that I would put all over. I like to add my glow where I want to add it, but I do think that using this, because of the amount of shine and radiance that it has, it would definitely give you a little bit more and you'd be able to see it through your foundation as long as you weren't wearing full coverage. But I'm gonna use it as a highlight today. However, I think I need to put this on first. This is the Nymph Kiss Glow Blush. And mm, let me see how to pronounce this. All right, the internet says Thea, Thea, or Thea. I'm gonna say Thea. I, I hope that's okay. <laughs> I've been trying, you guys, I really am. But it's, I'm not good with this. I'm gonna rip this entire box. Come on, come out. Ooh, again, we're going with that glowish container theme. This one's a little thicker, but it doesn't look like it actually needs to be that thick. Yeah. Oh, that gets so pretty. I have that huge highlighter as well. It mimics that, but this kind of, it reminds me of Max Gold. I'm gonna go get it. What this reminds me of just looking at the pan is the Snow Flushed Extra Dimension Skin Finish. It also came in a shadow. I don't have the shadow. This right here. So let's do some swatches. And then I have also this, which is Beaming Blush. First up, Huda Beauty. And this is supposed to be a blush or a topper. You can use it as a highlight if you want. I'll read the official instructions momentarily. Right, that's what it looks like. Now, the MAC Extra Dimension. This one's definitely more gritty, the MAC one. It has a little bit more gold to it. And then Beaming Blush. All right, so there they are. I think that the one from Huda right here has a little bit more pink and less gold than the center one but they are kind of similar. When they catch the light just right, they are definitely similar. This little beauty retails for $39 and it is a duo chrome rose gold shimmer, super buildable, dimensional radiance and killer glow. It can be used as a blush or a shaded highlighter warming up the skin with a luminous flush of pink and gold for an instant color and shine without any chunky unwanted glitter. That is something that I will say. It's a little bit smoother than this one right here from MAC, the Snow Flushed. And again, this is suitable for all skin tones. I'm going to use my Linda Hauberg 306 because I'm not going to use this as a blush. I'm going to put it a little further back. Ooh, that's pretty. You see that? That's real pretty. I'm gonna just go over this area because I'm gonna put the highlight right on top. 
All I have on right now is a cream blush, the LYS in Kindness. And I just put a little bit on so that I could see what these truly look like. This is this is really, really pretty. I thought about it and I thought you guys might wanna see two more comparisons to this. So again, let me swatch this on my hand. And then I have some Pat McGrath comparisons. I do have to say, this is pretty darn smooth though. This is Mothership 3 Subversive. And I am going to take this shade right here. If you use this like I am wearing it today, it would definitely be more intense. And it would add just a little bit more texture. But on the eyes, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And I also want to show you the Divine Rose highlight. Ooh, okay, let me put this one right beside the Huda. Okay, so this one definitely has more gold in it. But I wanted to show you those comparisons as well. Okay, all right, now let's move on to the cream highlight. Mini base from Sonia G. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the highlight and then I'm going to, ooh, she's intense right off the bat. Let me stipple this out. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm just working this into my skin. That is beautiful. And it looks so pretty with that glowy blush. Oh my goodness. Get a little on my nose. <laughs> I said a little, I got a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down a few notches with my By Terry powder. You guys know the drill. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Stunning. Stunning by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder Pressed BOM 270 from Royal and Ling Nickel. Just gonna go right around the edges, soften them. I, mm, I'm really happy with the way that these look. All three products, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Uh, the, my favorite thing is definitely this highlight. It is so creamy. I, it's. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. I do want to kind of take this again. This is the shade Luna and I want to put it up against the huge highlighter in Flora that I have. I feel like this one might be a little bit darker, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it's just slightly darker than this one. So Luna and then Flora. Oh, the shine is beautiful though. Oh, beautiful. The dry oil Definitely, my skin feels so soft, not greasy. I don't feel like I look greasy. I feel like I give somebody a hug and they're not gonna be like, ew. <laughs> feels really, really nice. And I'm telling you, the glitter is micro. It is teeny tiny, so it's not, I don't feel like a disco ball. I just feel like my skin looks really healthy, so I'm happy with that. And I also like the scent of it. And then this, this is gonna be beautiful both as a blush, a blush topper, or if you wanna put it on your eyes, it's just gorgeous. I think this whole collection is so pretty. I'm, I'm just, I'm loving it. I am definitely loving it. You guys let me know what you think about it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.